What's up, Gear Junkie? It's Brian Doerr, your Motors Editor. I'm here in the field in Palm Springs, California to bring you the 2024 Chevrolet ZR2 lineup. We got the Colorado, we got the light duty and the heavy duty Silverados and the AEV editions. We're gonna take them on road and off, get a little towing in, see what these new trucks are all about. As you'd expect with a 2024 HD pickup, this thing performs when towing. The big diesel is impressively quiet and really, really smooth. Tons of power, can't complain. What I'm impressed with the most though is on the ZR2, which has the Multimatic shocks. It's amazing off-road, but then towing 8,000 pounds and 30 foot of trailer, it handles it with ease. These shocks are really impressive on pavement above and beyond anything else. All right, let's go see what other vehicles we can get into off-road because that's the fun stuff. Let's go. All right, quick lap of the gravel track in the light duty 1500 ZR2, not the Bison Edition. Really, really fun. Of course, the Multimatic's impressed, but overall it was really impressive over the really rough stuff. We had a few kind of undulations and drop-ins on the gravel road. Really flickable, left foot braking works great for performance driving. Silverado 1500 ZR2 with the diesel, new for 2024. Just cruising down the road, it's really chill in here. It's 105 degrees outside, but we have cooled seats and blowing cold AC. The AC fan is a little loud. The cabin though overall is real quiet, especially with this diesel. I'm amazed that you really can't hear it in the cabin, even under full throttle. I'm impressed. The seats are nicely bolstered, really comfortable. The interior is the same as the HD model. The lane departure warning is a vibration in the bolster on the bottom seat cushion of the seat, which is really nice, I think. Uh, if you're gonna have that departure warning, it's nice to not have all your passengers know about it or care. And it's just a little gentle reminder, hey, you're, uh, you're departing your lane, you need to get back. Versus flashy lights or ding-dongs or whatever that so many other brands throw in there. You guys already know what's up with the 2024 Colorado ZR2. We took it from Vegas to Reno off-road, showed you an entire video on that. Check it out here in the description below, but stay tuned, because here we go. We're gonna go play with this in the AEV Bison form. That's right, on 35s, big old tires, off-road. Let's go. 2024 Colorado Bison. This thing is running on 35s, got Multimatics. We've been on the pavement so far, really smooth. I'm amazed at how this little four cylinder turbo is doing on 35s in a midsize truck. Nice and smooth, pulling up huge hills, no problem. We're headed out to Johnson Valley. We're gonna go hit the gravel and of course some big rocks. I'm stoked. Let's see what this thing can do. All right, we are at Laser Town. We're about to go out and play in Johnson Valley off road. We got the HD Bison as well as the Colorado Bisons. So both on 35s, both rolling on the Multimatics, both have the AEV skid plates, bumpers, winch compatible front bumper, solid recovery points. I'm excited to get these off-road and see what they're all about. The sound of fun about to begin. First up, Short Bus. That's the name of this trail that goes up and over the mountain. We're doing the HDs and the Colorado Bisons. It's gonna crawl right up it. It is very steep and loose, but in four low and terrain mode, not gonna have a problem. All right, second major trail of the day. We had some nice whoops in the desert. Now we're gonna climb this rocky outcropping. I don't know if you can see that. That's pretty steep and those are some big rocks. I think there's a nice little line through it. Excited to see what this is all about. This thing on 35s to air down to 20 PSI. Doing good. We did get into the jump shocks out there in the desert over the whoops. Impressive, they work really well. Colorado Bison, amazing, so fun. Really light, nimble, great steering. Now it's time to get into these big dogs. This is the 2500 HD Bison. So it's got all the AEV stuff, still on 35s. It's got Multimatics, but this, 8,500 pounds. That, around 5,000. Huge difference when you're off-roading, and obviously this also has a longer wheelbase. Let's see what this thing can do through the whoops and up in the rocks.
2500 HD Bison. Just got a fun time whooping through the whoops. No jount shocks. So the Multimatics do an amazing job at keeping it under control for how big it is. 8,500 pounds, you do notice the weight. You gotta go slower than you would in the Colorado. But this is a truck you can tow with, you can haul gear, you can haul people, tons of room inside, super comfortable. It has off-road mode and normal mode. It does not have the other drive modes that you would find in the Colorado, but it does have skid plates, recovery points, winch capable bumper, 35s, good quality wheels. It's an off-road truck that does truck things. Wow, that is the day in Johnson Valley with Chevrolet. Huge thanks to them for having me out here to drive the Colorado Bison and the HD 2500 Bison. These trucks were really amazing off-road. The HD, it's a work truck, but it has some off-road capable parts and can really get out and explore. So that's impressive, but really impressive. Come on, that's a mid-sized truck with 35s from the factory, hydraulic bump stops, full Multimatic shocks, awesome truck. The four cylinder, still don't like the sound of it. Still gotta stay in it to keep the turbo spooled up to keep the power, but it has lots of torque and lots of power when you get into it and keep after it. It has all the drive modes, Baja's awesome. Terrain mode's great with one foot driving on steep stuff. It works really, really well. I'm impressed. That I still say currently on the market, that truck, the ZR2 and the ZR2 Bison Colorados are still what I would buy. We, again, still haven't seen the Tacoma all in, like actually gotten behind the wheel of it yet, or the Ford Raptor Ranger, but this thing checks so many boxes, 35s with bump stops, come on. I want one, let's go.